threading on the uh, CB650R and plugging in and it actually understands really shit, I'm sure but, but I don't know what the head Right, so I'm on the 650 CBR 2019. Thought I'd do a little review. I've had this bike now for about a month. So I'll just do a little review on how I'm finding it after a month of owning it and riding it every day. Um, I think it's a pretty good little bike. Um, well, a little bike, a weight bike, whatever you want to call it. I find it's got uh, plenty of power for what I want. It's um, good around town and when you get out on the highway, it does highway speeds quite comfortable. At 100 k's you do get a little bit of buzzing. In the higher rev range you get a little bit of buzzing coming through the tank. But it's not unbearable. The handlebars, I've got these um, plush puppies I think they call it on the grips. So that takes away, I did, before I put these on I found there was a little bit of vibration through the handlebars but when I put these on all that vibration went bye bye so I think they're a pretty good investment for fucking magpie! Get in the tape on magpie! Fucking hell, I don't know if you've seen that in the shadows magpie was trying to kill me fucking asshole, I hate magpies what a fucking dick! Take my fucking helmet! What an asshole! Really hope I got that in. Oh. Well, I guess you can definitely tell it's, uh, it's currently spring. So those fuckers are out. Anyway, back to how I'm finding the bike. Um, totally lost where I am now. Yeah, so vibration. So as soon as I put them on, I don't get any vibrations through the handlebars, which is really good. Uh, about the only thing I found that I don't, I'm not, I don't like, I'm not really happy with this bike, is the fuel economy. It's um, not the best, which I didn't really research that. I kind of thought, you know, motorbike, motorbike, you know, ride pretty good on fuel. This um, this definitely likes fuel. On the longer trips it's not too bad, but around town, especially if you get on it a little bit, it just goes through fuel pretty bad. Like I just um, filled up, put, uh, used like 11.2 uh, litres, and for that 11.2 litres, I got uh, 126 kilometres out of that, 11.2 litres. That's pretty bad. Um, that's actually really bad for a motorbike. It's uh, probably really bad for a car as well. So that is pretty bad, fuel economy. That's about the only thing I've found so far I don't like about it. Um, when I first got it, the seat was really uncomfortable and I thought I was going to have to change the seat. But after riding it for a while, breaking the seat in, it's actually not too bad for a sports bike. So a few things that I'm really enjoying about this bike at the moment um, is the shockers. My last bike that I had going through corners it felt very um it moves around a lot underneath your feet. It felt like it was going it felt like it was constantly bouncing around. This is really firm through corners. Suspension holds up really well. Uh, the braking on this is really good. The back brake, I think with most motorbikes it feels a little bit squishy, but the front brakes are really good thanks to those two dual calipers. Another thing I like is the slipper clutch. At first I hated the slipper clutch, but now I've gotten used to it, I find it really good, especially for downshifting. It um, makes your downshift so much cleaner. You don't have to worry about locking up that back wheel, which is really good unless you like to um, back it in the corners, which then you can't. You can't lock it up by downshifting and you can't lock it up with a brake because of ABS. So yeah, I'll just do a quick pull up the speed limit just to show you what it's like. So 
see how it's first gear straight up to 80 k's even with traction control on giving a little bit of revs off the line the um, front wheel did come up so yeah so for a 650 it's uh, got plenty of go so I think even if you are an experienced rider you can still enjoy this bike so if you're looking for a cheap bike that has still got plenty of power good handling good brakes and in my opinion looks pretty damn good apart from this stupid wrap job I did on top of the tank to try and stop scratching the paintwork but um I think Honda's definitely done a good job with this bike and after a month of owning it I'm still really happy with it so like I said the only real bad thing downside that I've seen so far is the fuel economy but that comes back to as well as how you ride it the harder you ride it obviously more fuel you're going to use and I think if you were to go and get it tuned you might be able to fix that fuel economy up anyway I think with a little bit of tuning make it run a little bit more smoother or just more fuel efficient I think that'll definitely fix that up as well so thanks for watching if you um, like this video please subscribe and click that like button or if you hate it click the hate button or dislike whatever it's called thanks for watching and see you next time